we're going to remake Xavier's S2000 hood. It's a fairly easy part. It's pretty flat. So what I've done so far is just sanded the whole top with thousand grit. You can see there were some like little like uh, dirt nubs in the paint and other small stuff. It's not super necessary, but I figured I'd get them down. It takes two seconds to sand this thing with thousand. It's a flat hood and we're just going to make the outside shell of it. So we're going to do four layers of carbon fiber, 3K, two by two twill, and that should be plenty. And then we're going to cut the skin off and use the bottom section of the actual aluminum hood, because this is aluminum, and bond that to the carbon fiber outer skin. What we're going to start with, though, is a uh, part all paste. So you'll have a, this exact same size container, and you want to just uh, apply the wax and buff it pretty much right off. If you're doing a part this big, you want to wait at least 30 seconds, but by the time you get to the other side, it's been at least 30 seconds. Uh, set a layer of wax on, then buff it off. You want to continue that four times. So you have four layers of wax built on, and then the final one, you make sure you buff it off pretty well. You can go a little liberal at first with the wax and then kind of uh, stop doing as much later. But... All right, we're buffing off our last layer of wax. You'll still see a slight residue on it, but it's fine. We're gonna spray the PVA release film next, and that will even everything out. Make sure you use a new towel each time, each layer. I'm going to be spraying my PVA out of a automotive paint gun, but you can brush it on. You can use a roller to roll it on. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. But I really enjoy spraying it on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, with the PVA, you're gonna hit it with two medium wet coats and then let it dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's supposed to be behind the scenes. I really feel like a speed racer with these white gloves. He's going over that cliff. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Our PVA is completely dry. And now we're gonna move on to the carbon. There are multiple ways to lay down your first layer of carbon. You can lay down a layer of epoxy first and lay the carbon on top of that. You lay down the carbon first, put the epoxy on top of that. Whatever way you wanna go. It's a little easier to make your weave perfect. Um, if you're gonna make the, the inside of this part, it's gonna be seen. So that's gonna be the part that's sitting against the outside of the current hood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the first layer is perfect. We want the weave to be straight, not any wobbly weirdness. We're gonna go ahead and uh, measure out our carbon first, lay it down, and we're gonna start mixing some System 2000 and 2060 hardener. Um, you definitely want some good carbon fiber shears. We have these available on industrygarage.com, but they're also available through fiberglass.com as well. We do our same trick of pulling out a single carbon fiber strand or maybe three. That gives you a straight line. Well, it doesn't look straight for us, but it's straight for the uh, actual weave of the carbon. Nice audio, let me get closer. Okay, cool. Got our carbon cut. We're gonna go ahead and just lay this on there dry. Roop. Nice thing about it dry is because you know, you don't have to worry about this. If it was wet, if you lay your carbon down and you don't get it like perfectly set on the first layup, then you can run into problems where you have to pull it back up and you can pull off your PO ply, like your, I mean, sorry, your PVA release ply stuff. And that's no good. Actually, I'm gonna wet it out first, then I'm gonna trim the edge. You don't wanna let the edge of the carbon sit too far over your part because 
it'll droop over like this. And when it droops over, it actually raises up at the edge. So you get a big air pocket right on the edge of your part. So you want to cut as close to it as you can. Um, but I want to make sure I don't cut this dry and it's all shifting back and forth. And then I cut it too small because um, we're right here on the edge. So it's just wide enough in the back of the S2000 hood, but the front, we got like 10 extra inches probably total. So we're going to go ahead and mix some System 2000 resin and 2060 hardener and start laying it up. Thank you.